Hard to believe, but today marks our final News 19 Teacher of the Week for the last school year, and this selection is sure to make you smile. This is amazing that the school year is coming to an end, and bittersweet, of course, for teachers. Christy Calcagno heads to Pace Academy, Pace Academy, Pace Academy, mm -hmm. where? Thank uh -huh. you. <laughs> she got every student in the school to join her for this big surprise. Check this out. Where's Mr. Folda? Yeah. My name is Christy Calcagno from WLTX. Congratulations. You're our Teacher of the Week. Wow, thank you. Maybe it's because I'm a kid at heart. Helps me stay young. But I mean, I've always gravitated towards the hanging out with kids because it's, I don't know, my comfort level, I guess. I don't know. I can. I will. I will. I must. Words of encouragement for Mr. Duke Folda's 5th and 6th grade ELA students at Pace Academy. 100%, even if you only want to give 70. His passion for learning can be seen throughout the public charter school in Columbia. So yesterday we watched our video, right? I'm going to get up on my table and stuff like normally do. Obviously, he embodies pretty much a lot of things teachers are. Just brings uh, a different teaching style into the classroom. You know, he's very open with his, his students. Mr. P is the teaching assistant for Mr. Folda's class, and he nominated Mr. Folda to be our latest News 19 Teacher of the Week. But overall, he's a great teacher. Uh, I've learned a lot from him, and his students especially learn so much from him. You can just be yourself. I don't, it's fine. Mr. Folda began his teaching career out west before making the move here to South Carolina a move he says his family made to better his kids. A couple of my kids have dyslexia and were struggling in schools, so just to struggle to find resources and to help them be successful. And then this school opened up and my wife saw it on Facebook. Hey, there's a school that's focused for kids that have learning differences like dyslexia. Interviewed, got the job, moved here. A father of five, Mr. Folden now has three of his children enrolled at Pace Academy, including nine-year-old Ebony, who will be taught by her dad next year. He's awesome. He's crazy. I think that's how a good dad is. Pace Academy focused specifically on students with learning disabilities and dyslexia, something Mr. Folda understands. I noticed kids have differences and we try to help out, but it didn't really affect me until my own kids had it. And then I really became aware of, you know, these kids are really struggling and, and then it really makes me focus on my kids, but then the kids in the classrooms that are similar. Now in his third year teaching at Pace Academy, the academic director tells me he has never taken a day off. Here's why. All in all, get these guys, get all these students ready for not being here, going mainstream classroom in high school, getting that next level, going to a college, whatever career that they want to be successful in it so that they, I mean, some of these kids came in illiterate. Now they have college aspirations and that's it. That's all we're doing it for. And as they get ready to take their final exams of the year, Mr. Folda wants to make sure to keep the energy up. Oh, wow. And he has some <laughs> sweet dance moves. Yeah. He's, Mr. Folda is clearly good at everything. Uh, if you ask her, his daughter, she would agree with that wholeheartedly. You know, it's just dad. It's crazy. Just I love that. I love that. Uh, well, we have loved celebrating our Teacher of the Weeks mm. with you. Keep in mind your favorite teachers for next year. Yes, absolutely. And remember, when you nominate a teacher, that stays in our vault of nominations. So just because your favorite teacher wasn't recognized this year by WLTX, it doesn't mean we may not surprise them in their classroom next year. All right, let's.